sources that say the Jews understood that this Messiah would actually come from heaven. For example, I mentioned the book of Enoch, right? The book of Enoch is a Jewish book written before the time of Christ. And in that book, if you go to chapters 46 to 48, the author or authors of that book claim that the Messiah is a heavenly being, the Son of Man, the Chosen One, the Messiah, a heavenly being who existed with God before creation, who would appear in the latter times and sit on a throne of glory and everyone would worship him. And that's a Jewish source. You see how much they got right? A Jewish source, you know. The man of Daniel, the chosen one of God, he exists with God before the creation of the world. When he comes, he'll sit on a throne of glory and all the nations will worship him. Boy, they got a lot right. Well, where do they get this from? From the Old Testament. So, when you say Jews, well, even like today, even back then, not everyone sees the same thing when they read the same source. It's even today. I mean, don't, don't put the Jews like, do we Christians agree on everything? You get two Christians, you get 50 opinions. <laughs> but if you want to know your interpretation is right, just believe anything and everything I write, then you're... <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, so the answer to the question, they knew about a coming Savior and Messiah. They knew that. But did they all agree on every detail about the Messiah? No, there were differences. But that doesn't mean that the Old Testament prophets didn't know. They knew. But, and not every prophet knew everything. Whatever God made known to about the Messiah, they believed. And we see a progression of revelation. But one thing we, we can agree on is that they all knew about the Messiah. That he was coming and he would be their savior.